friend, I trust you. I'm so glad I found you. I've never had so much trust in one human being. Stop it, Dave. <laughs> it's okay, bud. I'm getting nervous. Hey, that truck left. gray that we are working on right now. Yeah, I saw the one you like, just got in. It was horrible. It was the bucket one, right? Like, we didn't even tell all of the story. Yeah. Hi. So, hey, you got any more of those? <laughs> yeah, she pet you? Can she pet you? <laughs> oh, yeah, she has to pet me. I do nothing with her.
Haley here from Bird Tricks with Caprizi. Um, and as you saw, we recently dropped off Bean at Ronnie's for the Love of Birds and they will be finding him his forever home. We we're really excited about that process, but we get asked a lot about this process and I've never actually shown what it looks like to drop a bird off unless they're um, being dropped off at their forever home or back with their owner because as you guys know for those of you that have followed a lot of project bird stories they aren't always birds that go into rescue uh, situations they actually have been in the past just from normal owners who are struggling so <laughs> um, so anyways, I figured you guys had a lot of questions about the process and probably what it feels like and things of that nature, so. <laughs> How did it feel to drop off Bean? I wanted to keep him, especially because Blueberry wants to play me. And, uh, yeah. and apparently he's trying to do that with Halo. So those of you that did not or ha do not join us on Patreon have probably missed the fact that Bean is, a, uh, well not Bean actually, Blueberry is a little obsessive about Bean and just absolutely loved his company. So it was something that was just really endearingly cute. Um, we obviously it monitored- It's also dangerous. <laughs> yeah, we monitored it very closely just because Blueberry is so much smaller. Uh, but honestly, in that situation with that duo, Bean was the one that was more uncomfortable. So um, it was quite cute, but that was, that was definitely a hardship. Look how happy these guys are. I know you're probably only seeing Bean, but Blueberry's in there. Blueberry is right there. I don't know if Bean knows Blueberry's there. <laughs> but these guys are pals. From a safe distance, they are pals. Having to remind Blueberry, from a safe distance. Because Blueberry wants to be all with Bean. What are you doing? You are in love with Bean. You just can't help yourself. You just put yourself in his cage. Bean, what happens if you come out? Then will Blueberry come out? He really likes you. Yeah, I was scared about Blueberry because I'm like, Blueberry, I don't want you to get bit by Bean. And they, if this was the cage, Bean was here, Blueberry was here. They stayed on each side of the cage. Yeah. They did. They always stayed, stayed a very safe distance, but it's almost like mm -hmm. uh, Blueberry just enjoyed Bean's company. And Bean didn't always seem to mind. There were a couple times where I went and was like, Blueberry, a little much. And we um, we didn't put him in the cage. He went in the cage, which I'm not too happy about because we screamed in the whole porch. So why can't he use the board instead of that cage? Yeah, we did go and through a lot of trouble screening in the porch and Blueberry would weasel hood and squeeze his way into, or her way into Bean's uh, cage. I think it's a boy. I think it's a girl. Bean? Blueberry. Oh, I'm like, Bean? <laughs> Bean is a boy. Bean is definitely a boy. I'm like, uh, why do you think Bean's a girl? <laughs> um, how did you feel after we dropped him off? I really don't want him to go and to be honest, Blueberry doesn't even notice. <laughs> the beans gone but I didn't want him to go because I felt like he was really sweet and he was probably one of my favorites out of the um, ones that we've been training Aww. that aren't ours that's sweet I didn't know that he was one of your faves um yeah, you know, there's like little quirks about Project Birds, like certain things where it would be annoying that we couldn't eat in front of Bean because he's such a foodie. And like I think, blueberry. and I think that's going to be an ongoing thing that his forever home is going to have to work through and work on and make sure they don't accidentally reward because he's already crazy about it just from how he came to us. That's a, that's a long-term thing that you got to figure out how to break. It doesn't happen in just a week or two or even a month. Um, but you kind of start to miss those annoying quirks um, when you give up a project bird or when you're done with, with that work. And so for me, um, the process is really hard, which is why I don't usually talk about it. I don't usually show it. It's something that I don't really like to open up about. I don't really like to talk about. And uh, I remember Dave, while we were driving away, I just like was crying and, and Dave's just like, should I be filming this? <laughs> I was like, no, please. Um, yeah, Dave, Daddy asks 
like, should I film this <laughs> every single time? I feel like when we're in the car. Yeah. So <laughs> I just, um, it's a really hard proce process bunny. for me. I get super attached. You can't help but get attached. There is a bunny. bunny. You see a little bunny. Um, <laughs> The thing that helps is that I usually dictate when I take a project bird around my schedule. So the nice thing is that we're currently traveling, if you can't tell, we're outside. Uh, so immediately after donating some perches to Ronnie's, settling bean in over there, we had some in-home consultations within the area and that kind of helped. It was almost nice to stay close and I really considered going back and seeing how he was doing but I felt like that would cause a lot of confusion. So I decided against doing that especially when they were kind enough to send me some photos and tell me that he was doing really really well adjusting and had no problem eating all the food that they were making because they make our, my seasonal feeding system um, but they said that he was taking to the volunteers great and they already had a potential home that was um, that, that people were already lined up to come meet him so I was really excited about that and I just look forward to getting updates on his future and um, yeah, so anyways, I just wanted to say a very big thank you to all my patrons who made being, taking on being possible. Um, I was so happy to share that with you guys and I'm glad that I could share the videos here on YouTube as well, just a few of them. So if you missed all the in-between, head over to Patreon if you wanna see all the Bean videos I released between three and four every single month since I had him. Also, I think that he's really cool because not only did he not like Daddy, but he actually was wanting to like do it, but not do it. What are you yeah. saying about about Dad? About Bean and Dad. Yeah. So originally, Bean was really scared of Dave. Yeah, and Dad gave him like that big of a nut. <laughs> yeah. Every time. And he was able to work through it with Dave, which was super awesome and something that was really important in his journey with us because I didn't want him going in having that intense fear of men. Um, it's definitely still, he prefers women and that was something I tried to make Ronnie's really aware of, but it is something that men can now work through because he's not, you know, just flying away scared. And what I thought was kind of funny, <laughs> um, dad, he hated dad and then my grandpa came in and Bean was pretty fun with him. Yeah. That was what I was like, what? How does that work? <laughs> like, why does he doesn't like my dad, but he likes my grandpa? <laughs> Yeah, and that's when we had started working on the process of him with men, and so it was really cool to see him not react fearfully to another man, which was my dad. Um, so that part was really, really cool. He wasn't, you know, as great as he is with women, where he was just like, go ahead, pet me, go ahead, handle me, but there wasn't that intense fear response. So we were really excited about that. So I think Bean is pretty set up to have a good life. Yeah, and he always <laughs> were offering for pets. It was really cute. Yeah. Because instead of doing trick, he's like, and I'm like, no, I want a trick. <laughs> and I'm like, step up. And he's like, that. <laughs> and I'm like, bean. <laughs> All right. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you again for all of your support over on Patreon, making Project Birds possible and enjoying the stories that we share with them. And uh, we will catch up with you guys next time and keep you posted on our next Project Bird. What do you think it's going to be? Um, I think it's that like one that looks like Lefty, but it's mean. Oh, I know who you're talking about. Abby the Quaker. Yeah. Mm, we'll have to see. Let us know what kind of project bird you would like to see us take on next. Ooh, do you have questions about blueberries? <laughs> <laughs> and Capri really wants to do a Q&A about blueberries, so leave your questions about blueberry in the comments below. You want to add anything? Yeah, and if you have questions about any bird or human, you can ask us if we can do one too, because we'd love to answer them. Bye!